Hey guys welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be showing you how to make your own Roblox shirts. You need to have Roblox Premium to upload your own shirts to Roblox. First, you need to go to an image editing website named Pixlr. Now that you are here on this page, choose Advanced Pixlr. It has more features and options. When you click the Advanced Pixlr, you will be directed to this page. Now go to Google and search Roblox Shirt Template Transparent. This is not the original version of the shirt template. The real version of the template is not transparent and will take a long time to edit. And now, download the transparent shirt template. Make sure it is 585 by 559 pixels, otherwise, the shirt will be messed up when you upload it. You can see the image size on the bottom left of the image when you hover over it. After you downloaded it, go back to Pixlr and click the Open Image button and select the transparent shirt template that you just downloaded. Now go to Google again and search for any color texture you want. In this video, I will search for red color texture. As you can see, there are many different red textures. I will use the dark red texture for this video. Now just import the texture that you downloaded. You can add it as a layer by pressing the plus button on the middle right of your screen. Or you can add an images layer using the layer menu at the top of the screen. As you can see, when I import it, it overlaps the shirt template. To fix this, go to the menu on the middle right of your screen and unlock the background and drag the texture down. And then scale the image so that it covers the area that you want it to cover. The bottom area is the limit of your sleeve. You can cover as much as you want, but you have to leave a small amount of space. It looks good and all, but we need to a bit more detail to the shirt. So to do this, go to Google again and type Roblox Shading Template 420. And when it comes up, click the image and see if it's 420 by 420 pixels. If it is, then download it. Now import the shading template that you downloaded. As the shirt template that I am using is 585 by 559 pixels, the shading template will be smaller than this. So, hold shift and make it bigger until it becomes fit to the image size. And now cut out the part in the blank area. Mark the area with the select tool. And then press the delete button on your keyboard. The blank area is supposed to be the edge of the shirt's sleeves. And now you can go to Layer Properties and change the opacity of the shading template layer to what you want to. Now to add even more detail to the shirt, I am going to add a picture of 0 2. This is entirely optional. So if you want to add an image on your shirt, then download the image from Google. Now import the image you just downloaded and cut the background. Click the scissors and choose the magic wand to cut the background of the image you imported just like this and then resize it enough to fit your torso. This is the front of the shirt. And you can put a text on the back of the shirt if you want as well. And now, you can mark the area with the select tool and either press the delete button or fill it with a color.
And now after it's done, click file in the top left of the screen and select save and save as PNG, and you're done. That's it for the video. I hope it was helpful to you guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.